<laughs> Shut up, Harry. It was more traditional. Traditional? My great aunt Tessie. Smell like my great aunt Tessie. Stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Spiders, they want me to tap dance. I don't want to tap dance. You tell those spiders wrong. Oh, yeah, I tell, I tell, I tell, I tell. I checked this out weeks ago for a bit of light reading. This is light. Jim, looks more like a pig with hair, if you ask me. That's rich, coming from the owner of that smelly old shoe brush. It's a right crook shank. You just ignore the mean little boy. Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. Okay, sorry. Um, kidding. Morning. Which one of you can tell me the difference between an animagus and a werewolf? No one. How disappointing. Please, sir. An animagus is a wizard who elects to turn into an animal. A werewolf has no choice. With each full moon, when he transforms, he no longer remembers who he is. He'd kill his best friend if he crossed his path. Furthermore, the werewolf only responds to the call of its own kind. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Malfoy. That is the second time you've spoken out of turn, Miss Granger. Are you incapable of restraining yourself, or do you take pride in being an insufferable know-it-all? He's got a point, you know. Five points from Gryffindor. Housekeeping! <laughs> I'll come back later. Come on, everywhere else is full. Who do you think that is? Professor R.J. Lupin. You know everything. How is it she knows everything? It's on a suitcase, Ronald. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh! Your aura is pulsing, dear. Are you in the beyond? I think you are. Sure. Look at the cup. Tell me what you see. Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. well, Harry's got sort of a wonky cross. That's trials and suffering. Mm -hmm. And uh, that there could be the sun, and that's happiness. So uh, you're gonna suffer, mm -hmm. but you're gonna be happy about it. Give me the cup. Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, boy. My dear, you have the grim. You don't think that grim thing's got anything to do with Sirius Black, do you? Oh, honestly, Ron, if you ask me, divination's a very woolly discipline. Now, ancient runes, that's a fascinating subject. Ancient runes? Exactly how many classes are you taking this term? A fair few. Hang on, that's not possible. Ancient runes is on the same time as divination. You have to be in two classes at once. Don't be silly, Ronald. How could anyone be in two classes at once? Broaden your minds. Use your inner eye to see the future. Mm. What are you doing? Shh. What's this rubbish? <laughs> What's this rubbish, she says. That there is the secret to our success. It's a wrench giving it to you, believe me. But we've decided your needs are greater than ours. George, if you will. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Messrs Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot and Prongs are proud to present the Marauder's Map. We owe them so much. Hang on. This is Hogwarts. And that... no. Is that really... Dumbledore. Any steady pacing. There's that a lot. So you mean this map shows... Everyone. Everyone? Everyone. Where they are, what they're doing, every minute of every day. It's not going to work. Oh, yeah? And why is that, Granger? You see this? This is an age line. Dumbledore drew it himself. So? So, 
A genius like Dumbledore couldn't possibly be fooled by a dog as pathetically dim-witted as an ageing potion. Ah, but that's why it's so brilliant. Because it's so pathetically dim-witted. <laughs> yeah. Ready, Fred? Ready, George. Bottoms up. It's not real, the ceiling. It's just bewitched to look like the night sky. I read about it in Hogwarts a History. Look who's here. Ah, come to see the show. You! You foul, loathed them evil little cockroach! Hermione, no! He's not worth it. That's a real spell. Well, it's not very good, is it? Of course, I've only tried a few simple ones myself, but they've all worked for me. You've got dirt on your nose, by the way. Did you know? Just there. Harry, no way. You heard what Madame Hoop said. Besides, you don't even know how to fly. What an idiot. Now, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed or worse, expelled. Wake up! Wake up, Ronald! Bloody hell! Honestly, get dressed. And don't go back to sleep. Come on, Ron! Your mother says breakfast's ready. You know the Egyptians used to worship cats? Yeah, along with the dung beetle. Ouch, Ron, that was my foot. Ronald has lost his rat. I haven't lost anything. Your cat killed him. Rubbish. Nearly headless. How can you be nearly headless? <laughs>